I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. In this episode, we're going to return to our data engineering playlist and we're going to talk about how to use recursion in SQL. And we're going to use a very simple example for today's uh, video. Now, for many of you who might be programmers already, you'll be familiar with recursion as, uh, as a an ability for a function to call itself and, and create a very, could be a very short or very long uh, series of calculations and then uh, returning values or performing actions. And uh, you can do the same thing in SQL, which is a really great feature. Recursion can help you to simplify uh, many queries that uh, might, you know, require loops or uh, you know, require all kinds of different things or you might have uh, a database platform that doesn't support things uh, like, for example, like, like a series, like Postgres supports a series whereas SQL Server does not and uh, DB2 does not. But in those cases you can, you can use a recursive query instead. So without further ado, let's get to our recursive query in SQL. Okay, so for this uh, example, I'm going to start a new uh, SQL query in uh, SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to use my YouTube stuff database. And uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to uh, start a query uh, that's going to use uh, recursion. Now, that for this particular example, you don't actually have to select from any database table, though if you're on another platform, you do and you can use a dummy table for that as I'll uh, show here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a CTE which is using the with statement. So we'll say uh, with uh, uh, year, we'll call our table year and then we'll have a column called n as and then we'll, uh, we'll start our CTE inside of our, our brackets here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to seed our recursive statement Say I want the years from 2000 to 2029, say, uh, or 2030. So what I could do is uh, I'll seed it by saying select 2000 as N. Uh, and uh, now on SQL Server, you can just say as N. Uh, if you're using Oracle, you might need to say something like, you know, from dual, um, which I've used before. Uh, or on DB2, you, you can use the sys dummy uh, table um, that's in uh, sysIBM. And uh, so you can use sys dummy1, I think it's called. And that'll allow you to do a select statement that's not actually against a particular table in, in your database. Um, but in uh, SQL Server, you can just say select 2000 as n, and then we're going to use the union all. Um, statement and what that's going to do is uh, that's going to put together all of the following um, queries uh, that come on onto our uh, recursive statement. So we'll say we're going to select n plus 1 uh, from the, the year table and uh, uh, where the uh, where it's less than say 2029. Um, where n is less than 2029. Now make sure when you do a recursive statement it's very important that you know that it's going to terminate somewhere otherwise you'll end up in a recursive loop that'll go on forever and that's really bad. Um, so make sure that you kind of know that your your uh, recursive uh, whatever complicated thing that you do actually ends somewhere and, uh, and, and that is uh, quite important. So then once we have our uh, statement um, for our CTE, or we, we put our CTE together, we can just say select n from our, our CTE statement, which is year, and then we can hit F5, and that's going to uh, give us uh, the results of our, um, of our recursive statement. So I hit F5, and uh, as you can see, it starts at 2000, which was our seed, and then it returned the values and unioned them together all the way up until 2029. Now, um, this is a very quick way of, of doing, say, a series that maybe you might not, uh, you need to join onto something and uh, not all of the years will have a value, but you need to show all of, all of the years. 
but you could also um, do something like change your query to do every second year up until 2100 or something much more complex that has some recursive you know lookups into your database in order to return uh, values and things like that I hope you enjoyed today's discussion about using recursion in SQL queries and I uh, hope that you can use uh, these uh, techniques in your project. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, click the bell when you see the bell uh, so that you'll be notified of any new content that I put up on the channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, please uh, put those in the comment section below and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have to the best of my ability. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.